Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Touch him up. Farm, of course, uh, the famed La Finca in Cuba. Both of his last two fights, Roy Jones, feels he can get down to work after he gets out of that first round danger zone where he's been dropped twice in recent fights. I can understand why he wants to avoid that early contact. And better than any opponent Bebol has seen. It's because you have the quicker hands and, the, and you're the bigger puncher. Doesn't mean there aren't things your opponent can do with timing. Hey. Max, as we get ready for, is still one of the reasons why Sergey Kovalev is considerably more prominent on a global level than is Adana Stevens. Off at Erbiev and beat him three of the four. That had to be about Styles. He's sort of light heavyweight Gennady Golovkin. Back and front foot fighter, so I think he's a little bit more diverse than Koji. Uh, and now a sense of urgency may emerge for Bibol as blood is trickling from the cut just outside his right eye. You know, we wanted questions answered about Bivol already. And he's dealing with adversity for the first time on our air. And he loved the kind of punching I'm seeing from Bivol. Uh -huh. Round two of the scheduled 12. Herrera has a title belt. Title belt he wanted to try to fight for tonight, despite the fact that the money was less. Guys, did anyone see what caused that? Spectacular amateur career for Bivol. Two big wins. And the way, in the first two rounds, Bivol is averaging nine landed jabs per round. The division average is under five landed jabs per round. He bounces back with his feet first, then he comes back and attacks with counter punches. That's the most impressive thing I've seen about him all night. No question, Roy, his mobility, but also all the steam was off the Barrera right hand. He couldn't have landed with much. And he Fighting against a better fighter than he's been in with before and trying to take over the fight with his skills and now their heads come together again. Head, shoulders, everything is coming forward. The one who appears to be holding his game together coherently is throwing and landing combinations. Dimitri Bivol. Jim, I'm really impressed. He's a really good fighter. Oh, he lands both shots. He lands the left jab. He lands the straight right hand. He lands the left jab really and really Barrera. He lands oh, another head. left hook that wobbles Barrera. The better technician. Staying in there, sturdy. Bull with his much faster hands could counter him upstairs. He's running that wrist in away. See that? He's running that wrist in away, Jim. If you throw at his head, he's still like that right there. But at least gives him a chance to win. And that's what the body shot would do if he could do that. Fighter between rounds was his desire to block shots before he left the corner. That was a good body shot. Lands his left hook. What I like about Bivol, besides the feet that I talked about earlier, is his explosiveness, too. Quick and his over with. Like that. So, but later in the fight, and uh, a butt that performance is bad news for the light heavyweight division. Because Bivol has had to, you know, taste his own blood. It's been in a position to obscure his vision. He's in with a determined fighter. Very discouraging for Barrera because he can't land a punch hard. Just to get a look, just to size him up. Might have been on the belt line. That's a straight right hand by Bivol, and Barrera just walked in and ate it. Still targets. When you fight a guy like Bivol, maybe one of the most underrated skills in boxing. But Bivol, you see, has a very good understanding of distance. And now this time, Barrera gets the right hand through to the body. And that right hook upstairs. Bivol has lost a lot of steam on his punches right now, too, it seems, Max. Yeah. On some of them, not all of them. A little fatigue right now because he would have had uh, Bivol at this point early in the fight. Both those are good from here and there, but their punches on the, for the most part are about even now. He's quicker. Or maybe Bivol is sensing that Romero, there's a little given Barrera. Good body shot right there. The left hand to the body there moments ago. Maybe his best body shot so far in the fight. In terms of landed punches countered by CompuBox. Six to nothing. 60 to 54, Dimitri Bivol. How would he construct a knockout? He can at least get a draw in it. Then try to come up and land something big over the top. Occasionally knocking Barrera back. There's another right hand for Bivol. And right now we're looking at how bad does Barrera want it. Because if he wants it bad enough, he... Oh, good shot. And then the feet got him out of position to be countered. Knows he was in a real fight. No, they've all been walkovers by and large. And that's why I said that right now, he can tell us how bad he really wants it. Because he still can win it if he wants. We've never seen Bivol at this point in a fight. Well, if we thought Bivol might have been slowing down a little bit in the last round. 
light heavyweight division. That was a good try. Oh, good right, right hand to the right, right hand to the body by something that you've depended on in a lot of your other fights seems to have been completely taken away. Well, speed neutralizes things like that, and um, Paul also keeps his hands up very high, and he has quick hands. So it's Kellerman correct in saying that the bull begins to look a little bit like a golf ball. Yes, it's not quite Hasim Rahman. But there's, you know, and, and by the way, he's winning every round, Bivol. Dwelling on the left side of the forehead, deep. Well, when you won every round, Jim, it can't feel too bad either, though. <laughs> Just don't see many 175-pound fighters who can put punches together like this with the velocity and the style and the effect. Has been past the eighth round only a few times. That's like the way he's being schooled in the tripling Barrera in terms of landed punches and in his last several fights. Jabbing kind of right hand to, but I think that body shot that he balled hit a bit here and isn't initiating contact as often. As he appears to try to get just a little breather and to react. Oh, and lands for Bibo. Oh, headbutt again. Headbutt again. We're in a fight last night. Good jab by Bibo. By the way, even if you're thinking, well, yeah, but Barrera's done his damage with his head. The left and the right hand in the first few rounds that Time. no other opponent he's faced would have stayed in. To Barrera, 57 out of 469. Harold Letterman, Petri Bivol. Jimmy's just outboxing him. Basically fought in the middle of the round, but Bivol's outboxing him. And, you know, you sort of punch that numbers, which are enormous in favor of Bivol. Uh, Bivol's physical qualities, the speed, the quickness, the punching power. Same precision and sharpness with you. That's an extra layer of confidence because now you know it. I, I think, Roy, you're right about Sting as sharp. He's, he went from boxer puncher who might knock you out with that. Maybe Bivol should throw more to the body. He's gotten three... Pretty vicious headbutts are really. The last headbutt, it looked to me like Barrera was leading with his head a little bit, like he thought maybe. I think that's kind of who Barrera is, and it was say he punches right there. A couple of good moments for Barrera. Oh, good there. body shot. Stiff jab up the middle, and there's 168 wins and 15 losses as an amateur. Presents modestly, Max, but at the end of the day, you walk out of the room and there's no question. We know he's confident. And he's really mental fight and the kind of fight where we are getting some answers from Bivol. He just blown Barrera out. There's still room for improvement, but oh, yeah. good body shot. what a body shot oh. by Bivol. Yes. Perfectly timed. Hey. One of them a little bit younger, quicker, and more vibrant in there tonight. And oh. uh, Bivol still looking for a knockout, Roy. Here it is. Right now. Kovalev, Bivol, Barrera, better be as Bivol in the meeting, I said, you know, we always talk here in the United States, how well-trained they all are as amateurs. Do you folks in Russia... You want to see more American champions, we have to get our amateur... Oh, down goes Pereira, and you can see Bivol thinking to himself, I still have a shot at a knockout. Is Harvey Dock going to let him continue? No. It's a stoppage, and Bivol gets the TKO in round number 12.